Hi, everybody. It's me, Ligar Lax, and also known as Chino and Artie. Uh, people have been asking me what do I use for gaming on my PC. Um, well, I gotta admit, for first-person shooters, I use my Black Web setup. This is my Black Web uh, wireless keyboard, and it has a built-in mouse right here on the side, so I'm just using one hand. And then after that, uh, I have this right here as my aiming. So, uh, this is what I use. I use a pure black web setup. Then, if I'm going back on internet mode and doing database, I, I, go, I go blind. So, <laughs> it, this is how I type. I spray painted this so I, I don't see any keys and it makes me a perfect typer. And then I have a regular Dell mouse. All synchronized, working together. See right there. And then right here. So, that's for my first person shooter. Uh, then, uh, for my... Um, other controllers I use, um, I kid you not, I have a USB converter parallel serial MIDI port to use my old school Gravis gamepad. This Gravis gamepad works perfectly for your DOS box uh, emulation. You can't get uh, the 360 controller to work, it's not direct play. So I actually have a 360 controller for, uh, I use Afterglow, it's actually the cheapest and also well made controller one drawback is that my i have a mad cats as well for my sega emulation style and and for fighting games so um this keyboard part does not fit on my afterglow now uh for emulations for my mame i use this and it has that same feel just like um you know neo geo here that click 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 and it's perfectly aligned all the buttons in one straight row for perfect fighting game experience. For mobile devices, I use this and I use uh, a MOGA controller Pro, so I connect my controller like that. So I play it on the go, but I barely carry it, you know, because I barely play games on the go anyway. Then I have the official, okay, besides the 360 controller, the official third party, just like Gravis Gamepad. Logitech developed this version and I like this controller a lot because it has different modes on changing the trigger button to digital or analog and it, it's perfect I like this this is a great controller so um and I also have the steam controller which I did a review on and I gotta say uh, it's awkward um I like the aiming when you're controlling it you know you know when you're looking up and down etc you know you're able to do motion control just like a Nintendo Wii so it's actually incredible I, I actually can do fighting games going like this like for example if when I have the steam controller I go like this and press the button and it just works so that's my steam controller so I, I do ha I bought it and it was really on sale and this is a limited release there's not a lot of people who owns it then I have another Logitech uh, controller which I use for my simulation games I have this one right here. This is that TAC 3, and it's pure analog for my uh, games like Fly Simulator, Dark Star. Here, like, like this game right here. This is a great game to play with that controller. Uh, I also have this one, uh, XCOM. Uh, I mean, not XCOM. It's just called X3 Reunion. And I got the other, uh, I also got Terrain 2.0 Edition, X3. And um it's re it's really a fun game you know to play with that controller and also i'm able to use it's just like when i'm playing act of act of war this game it works really good like a real simulation besides using the mouse and also playing battlefield you know instead of using the keyboard i mean instead of using the mouse first person shooter i'm like bah, 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 you know it's really great and for my racing games, okay, okay, uh, now, if I don't want to use the pedals, I use my SciTech uh, controller. This is a big one, so I put this as the gas button, or and my shifter is right there, so I'm pressing this the whole time, and this is the brake, and this is the shift forward, and there's more buttons right here. So there's four buttons on the front, and the triggers are in the back, so it's right there. Then I actually have this guy, my classic Microsoft four uh four speed back uh, steering wheel with the pedals now this is a huge thing so it's really incredible and then um then back in the days um you know like i still i still have the original need for speed as you can see right there 
And I do have Need for Speed. Uh, there's another one I have in my collection, Need for Speed 3 and uh, Mega Race 3. So it's really cool. And for my flight simulator game, I kid you not, I like the A10 Tank Killer game. This goes well with that controller. So you can see why I have multiple controllers for pur certain purposes, you know? Like, okay, this guy, uh, the drawback about it, it doesn't have a rumble pack. It's very light, but I like the grip. For retro DOS gaming, I use this. Something new, but I'm still trying to get used to. On the go, I use the MOGA. For my MAME, I use this. Uh, for Sega Genesis emulation and um, fighting games like Mortal Kombat, this is perfect. And talking crap to people as well. <laughs> and Universal, this controller. And I and I like I got a lot of games that are all original from a Steam and especially when I reboot my computer because this is Windows 10 and I like it because there are certain games that cannot run on Windows 10 so I have a dual boot Windows 7 slash Windows 10 because Windows 10 is basically like 8.1 so in Windows 7 I also have XP mode so I'm able to play my XP games. Now, anything below that, like Windows ME and all that, I use that on my other tower that I have. This is a classic. It's an old um, Panium, uh, Panium 3, and it's able for me to play all my original DOS games, the big boxes right here. And it has a VESA compatible. Back in the days, there was this video card called Mystique, and that's the video card I have on that. And it runs, I kid you not, 4 megabytes of video RAM. Now we got gigabytes of video RAM. So, um, yeah, this is how I explained about it, and, yeah, and you know what? I'm going to be making more reviews on this um, uh, subject because I build computers for customers. As you can see, I got all this is my recommendation, and here's what I'm talking about. I actually can pick Windows 7 or Windows 10. I can put another operating system in there like Rem uh, Remix OS or Linux. And it will put that right there on the slash, and then the computer automatically reboots to do, to go to that operating system. So that's what's great about having more than one OS. And also, here's another uh, force feedback. I use my Ura Interactor. This is a backpack rumble pack. This is compatible with Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. But I have a dual splitter so I can able to play it for the PC. And I kid you not. It just makes a uh, 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 like that noise. And me, I, I was in the Philippines. I just wanted to buy this. This was only two US dollars. And it was a very cheap controller. It broke on me after like the fourth day I owned it. Made in China. And I got my other stuff right here. Um, when I'm calculating, I have this boy. I kid you not, I got Robocop glasses. Yeah, visor glasses. And... <laughs> Yeah, see how I mean, I got two, so many cell phone types that I used in the past. This is a cell phone where I slide my, you know, hybrid. And I got another cell phone. This is my docking bay. So there we go. And yeah, and then these are, this is how I have my wall. So, and also, um, you know, comparing Captain America, I'm not really into Captain America. I'm into this guy. This is my favorite. This is the U.S. agent. <laughs> and I got Robocop. I am the guy. Everybody wondered who had scans of Robocop images and sound bites. It was coming from me. Uh, before Robocop Archive, we had Robocop Central. Me and James Grandy, and uh, along with Sean, doing uh, fiction stories. So um, if you want to know about the original Robocop website, it was me and James. Well, James, me, and Sean. And then there was a. Uh, before uh, Robocop Archive, there was Kevman's movie site. He was the one who actually provides original scans, and he was the man who made the first Robocop website with actual information. But we got more deeper to the point where Archive took over, and well, that's when I fell out of the project. So, um, I thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, and please add me on Facebook. I'll gladly chat with you, or even Skype. And I'll be doing more reviews of my collections. And yeah, the, like for example, do you never knew there, there was also like a Quake clone called um, 
uh, gore. Yeah, it's a, and also, um, before StarCraft 2, there was U uh, Universe at War. I actually like this game more than StarCraft 2. I, they, I actually have the True Crime games, Part 1 and 2, and Sleeping Dogs. Mm. Well, thank you guys for watching, and be well.